Hey guys, it's Leverdo1 here, and today we are going to be playing some more Universe Sandbox 2. So today I'm thinking we're going to continue our binary theme for recently, and we're going to make a binary planet system, like rocky planet, not gas planet. So, start off with a random main sequence star, except I don't like that, so we're going to make it about a bit bigger. Like that, yeah. Actually, let's make it 0 0.67 suns. There we go. View habitable zone orbit grid. Actually, I'm thinking I'm taking. I'm gonna take off the grid. I don't like that. All right, so let us add a planet. Random rocky planet right here. It's 2.75 Earths. It's good size, but I think we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. Um, materials. Let's change that. Let's set that to about 0. Point, actually, 2.3 Gauss. Also, it looks like we're gonna have to. So, surface pressure. TM. 2 ATM. Alright, there we go. Materials. Let's turn that off. Temperature. It's going up pretty rapidly. Motion. Obliquity. Let's bring that down a bit. A 10 degrees. Rotational period. Let's put that about 2.7 days. Uh, basic, low elevation. It's, hmm. I don't know. What kind of plant do I want this to be? I think maybe a desert plant. This is going to be a desert planet. There we go. Mid elevation. Let's make it a bit darker. There we go. I like that. That's pretty realistic looking, if you ask me. And also, let's uh, change that a bit. Materials. What's the temperature right now? Let's see how high this goes. Um, still going up. Uh, settings, time period, 20, how about 30 days, okay. Um, uh, years, one year. Alright, cool, it's just varying around there. So now, let's add a bit of water onto the surface. Whoop, that's not what I meant by a little water. We're gonna have a very small amount of water. Three, four. All right, something like that. Yeah. All right. Now let's move that down a little. Let's take a look at the plant. I think it looks pretty nice right now. Maintaining a 28.6, 28.7 temperature is pretty good. It's a bit hot, but not too hot. And now, in orbit around it, we're going to have a smaller planet. Although the problem is uh, tidal heating, but... Maybe if we distance them enough, that won't be too big of a problem. How big should that be? How about about 1.4 Earths? So right now, they're in a binary system, but I'm not sure if they're working very well. 
So this planet, we're gonna make this, I think. This is gonna be a jungle planet, I like that. There you go. And this is gonna be green-ish. High elevation. Now, I see a little bit of it, but it's not very good. Mid elevation, we're gonna have a light green. This, I think we need to... Lighten up a bit. Mid elevation, we're gonna darken that a bit. There we go. Or we can just make that white. Hmm, that's interesting looking. Materials, motion, liquidity, let's definitely change that up a bit. Uh, rotation period, 0 0.8 days. Now, materials, uh, magnetosphere, we're gonna have one gas. And now we're gonna have, uh, temperature, we're gonna have an atmosphere with about 2 atm. Pressure. So these guys in orbit around this star. Maybe we can make it. Let's make it trails. Right, these guys are looking okay. Alright, that's kind of a high temperature though. Maybe we should reduce that to 1 ATM. Also, we better check on this dude. 28... Eh, it's not bad. Might be some tidal heating problems. Those don't look too big, though. That's interesting. This guy, on the other hand, let's look at this. got some varying temperatures, but hopefully that's not too bad. Albedo, let's put that there. Uh, materials, let's put water, not that much on it. things or a bunch of lines on it all right so that's looking nice now I think we're gonna add on a bit more cuz that's a habitable zone grid hmm 6.68 AU out here I think we're gonna add a gas planet it's going to be kind of distant from its star. Uh, let's put a motion. Obliquity, something like that. And now I'm thinking out here where it's pretty cold out, I'm thinking we're going to try to have a... So, what's the mass? I'm going to make that about 0 0.4 Jupiters. Uh, we're going to in orbit we're going to add a random rocky planet about right here and then we're also going to add some random moons whoa why is it heating up I don't, somehow I don't think they're doing the tidal heating right like, if we delete that, what will happen? Yeah, the temperature starts decreasing. So, if in orbit, we add a random rocky planet right here. Uh, 
that's for some reason eating up all of the things. I'm wondering if it's possible to sustain life on a world like this. Alright, so for example, let's set the temperature, the surface pressure, and ATM. We're gonna add, make it one. Materials, and reduce that, make that mostly that. Neosphere, we're gonna make that 0.3 Gauss. And now motion, obliquity is fine. Rotational period, we're gonna make that 0.6 days. It's gonna be a fast rotating object. Materials, add a little bit of wow. Okay. Okay. Why is it what? I'm confused. Alright, here we go. Now we got a something on the surface. Motion temperature. Materials. Radiate, large radiating thing might thing of a gas giant might sustain it. Oh, it's cool seeing the bands, even if they do look kind of dumb. But now we have whatever the heck this is. It's not really an orbit. Would the system really be that chaotic? I mean, look at this. It's going out 668. AU? What kind of orbit is that? It's kind of dumb. It's actually really dumb. So you know what I'm going to do? I am going to add a rocky planet right here. This thing is going to be stirring up a ton of commotion with tidal heating and stuff. I'm hoping at least. Is this pl I think this moon is kind of migrating in a little. That's funny. I think it also just... It's getting a little warmer. Not quite enough. And another rocky planet. Nah. It's at a random moon. Ah, it'll probably not last long. But if it has an inner balance of this and an outer balance of this, it should stay maybe in the same position-ish. Man, this waving stuff of fragments is kind of annoying. But we're still not getting that tidal heating. Maybe if we... Oop, uh oh. Oh well. Well, I'm thinking this might be a short episode because I don't have much to do. However, this is funny seeing this giant thing getting furiously hot. You're not furiously, but. Hey, let's add another one. That'll be funny. Oh yeah, something about the ending of the episode. What? Hey, let's see if it heated up now. Alright, well, it's not getting any warmer, so I'm going to end this episode here. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more. Leverdo1, signing out.